I um, work with the local Children's Aid Society. I actually was born and raised in Hawk Junction, about 20 minutes from here. And, uh, so I went out west for a while and then came back, came back home. I've been home for about 21 years now. Um, the point that I would uh, like to make, of course, is as we um, you know, lose entire forestry operations in places like White River and Cooperville and Walla, that there is a social impact. And I work with children. I can tell you that um, when parents struggle to survive daily, economically and psychologically, at the risk of kids, um, I want to sort of just echo some of Howard's comments, and that is during these times, and people have talked about people leaving, and our population increases, sometimes there's a sense that maybe the services, social services, aren't needed here in our community. But, um, uh, you know, we, we, we have to make sure we can decentralize service here and keep our social services here, especially during these times. Many years ago when, uh, I forget the year in LA late, when all the uranium mines were closing, the University of Sudbury, Laurentian, did some research. And they looked at what's the impact of all those closures on families and kids in the community of Valley Lake. And what they found is that the immediate impact was not very noticeable. That the demand for social services came about 18 months later. That's when all the maybe the severances and, and whatever went run out and the amount of stress, maybe not getting a job, families falling apart, marriage problems, really began to get home. And that's when the demand came. So uh, again, I, I echo uh, Howard's comments. Let's you know keep the social services locally, and let's let's fight for that. If decision makers in southern Ontario decide that you know maybe there just aren't the numbers here to keep uh, keep people in place, uh, and of course uh, you know I, I commend what what you're doing, taking taking the message down south. That, that yeah, kids are dependent upon strong economic growth as well. Um, so um, just to hammer home the point. Tough economic times result in tough times for kids and families. And uh, personally, like I say, I've been here 21 years, and I, I can tell you that when AOD closed, that was the um, highest demand that I ever saw for our services in this community. And in the business of child welfare, um, not to stereotype, but many of the people we serve or that come to our attention are poor people. When AOD closed, uh, I can tell you that there were families that you know, were coming from middle class and upper class and really struggling. And, and so, you, so you really really saw the impact. And, and my own personal experience is you know, that, that hammers home that the research is true. A tough economic times will result in the need for, for social services. So I'm expecting in Wawa that probably our, our, our demand for service will, will uh, see the storm get probably in full. Again, I commend you for what you're doing, and uh, good luck with your journey.